Bear Grisel Adventures, the Desert Challenge. Five, Water Trick. Do you have a compass? Bear asked. His voice was muffled, muffled by his stomach. Oh yes, Sophia had forgotten about that. It. He held up the compass and remembered how it seemed to grow bigger and change. But now the day just had turned, had the usual four, di- four, four direction. He stared at it confused, then looked at Bear, then across to the desert. Did this, did, did this compass somehow bring me here? He asked quietly. Bear looked at her, maybe, but why do you know is that I can get us out. Just point us north by northwest. Sophia turned the compass. She pointed that way. Let's we'll walk a little so you can begin to get used to the desert heat and terrain. We walk sl- slow and easy. She already sweating more than we have to, but we also take from steady take steps to scare off any snakes. Walking north by northwest means that, that the setting sun was on their left and the sky was lit with amazing curtain of red and orange light. The walking was hard, though not like Sophia had been used to back home. Where you just walk and don't need to think about it? This was different, very different. The sand was always slipping and sliding. There was nothing to get a grip on. It was kind of like playing football on the beach. And H started to grow deep inside her legs. But Sophia was terrified by the idea of snake. And so she made sure she plunked a foot down firmly with every step. Bear followed on the low ground between the dunes where the sand was flat, so they were in the shade. He called a halt after about ten minutes. Get the hang of it? Good. Now here's a trick. I learned this. I learned this from the Charmian tribe of Mexico. He handed her the bottle, take a mouthful of water and keep it in there, no swallowing, breathe through your nose. Bear continued, the water soaks into your body and the mouthful lasts a lot longer. You'll find you'll re- you really want to swallow. So at first we just try for a minute to start with, okay? And we'll do it af- every half hour. With a bit of plastic you be holding it in for age, like the Tahomea. He set the alarm on his watch. I'll say, okay, go. Sophia raised the bottle. A mouthful of warm water flooded her dry mouth. Just breathe, Bear said, and walk. Sophia almost blacked the water out in the first few minutes. She had to concentrate on holding it in and walking the way Bear had told her. Whenever it splashed against the back of her mouth, it made her want to swallow, but she resisted it. 
At least it took her mind off her aching legs, <laughs> because the route was winding through the dunes. They couldn't stick to the same direction all the time. Bear asked her regularly to check her compass to make sure they're heading broccoli the right way. <laughs> Then she, they came around the side of a dune and they saw the way ahead was blocked. The only way forward was 